Hi, welcome to Oberlin College. So right now we're in Tappan Square, which is kind of the intermediary space between the town and the college. As we're in Tappan, a lot of things do happen here between the town and the college. So like the town has a Easter egg hunt, there's been the climate strike rally here. So it definitely is a space for both the town and the college to kind of get together and meet. So this is the Conservatory of Music. Um, we have about 600 students in the conservatory. It's a pre-professional institution. And we also have about 150 students who are double degree, meaning they're both in the college and the conservatory pursuing two degrees at the same time. Um, for college students, we have a lot of resources here in the conservatory. For example, we have over 150 practice rooms for you to use. We have classes you can take. We have the Arts and Sciences Orchestra for college students, as well as the Music Reunion. So if you're interested in um, pursuing music here, even as a college student, you have a lot of resources to go to. A really, really nice element of the conservatory that actually brings the town and the college together is Finney Chapel. Finney Chapel is our largest performance space on campus. It's actually where my choir performs every year. I'm in the Musical Union Choir. That's actually a combination of the town and the college together. There are tons of different guest performers that will come in as well, and they put on uh, performances that are actually open to the community as well as the student body. Hello and welcome to Bailey Field. This is home to some of our varsity events. Here at Oberlin, we're a Division III school. We have around 21 athletic programs with approximately 400 student athletes participating in this program. And you don't have to just be a student athlete to be involved. Here at Oberlin, we have a multitude of health and wellness classes, lovingly referred to as YoFit classes, and quite the club scene. So um, we have a women's and trans ultimate frisbee um, club known as the Praying Manti, who actually won nationals this go around, as well as fencing and a really popular intramural soccer club. So a lot of options here on campus. We are outside the Eric Baker Nord Performing Annex. That is a collection of three different theaters um, and they all kind of do different things. Um, inside these doors right here is the Wurzel Theater. It is the newest theater here on campus. Um, it's where the faculty from the department put up their main stage production. This building that we're coming towards right now is Hall Auditorium. Hall is where the conservatory will put on operas. They do two major operas a year. Behind this building is the Kander Theater, um, named after John Kander. It is a smaller black box theater where students will put up their own capstones and projects that they've been working on throughout their entire time at Oberlin. That's kind of their last, like, hurrah. So right now we're in the Science Center. I myself am a neuroscience major, so I have a lot of classes here. I spend a lot of my time here. So a little bit about this building itself. It actually has more lab space than classroom space, which I find really helpful. I'm definitely more of a tactile learner. Um, so I find that if I'm confused in lecture, nine times out of 10 it'll be explained in lab because you are doing things that are directly related to the lecture material. So we also have um, a lot of great, great research opportunities within that lab space. So even though we are a smaller institution, we have a lot of the resources that are available to larger institutions. So we have two NMR spectrometers, we have a cell culture lab, um, we have a greenhouse on the third floor. All of those are kind of different areas of the sciences, but we do have all of those kind of resources. And here at our newly renovated Robert K. Carr Pool um, is a place where I train as I'm a varsity swimmer on the Oberlin College Swimming and Diving Team. Um, also, we have our YoFit classes where students can actually take water aerobic exercises um, and classes done in this pool. We also have a therapy lane that's accessible to all. Um, we also do have a wet classroom where everything is waterproof and we can analyze underwater footage and be able to view it on our brand new TV as well. So right now we're in Wilder Bowl. This is the most central part of campus, in my opinion, um, but uh, location-wise it is as well. And there's a very big, nice, large green space we're about to walk through. It's uh, where students tend to congregate when it's nice out, the warmer months, even just last week, uh, we had really nice weather and everybody kind of uh, hung out here, did their homework. Uh, there were some people playing music. We actually have an event every Friday in the warmer months as well called TGIF, and that's uh, when um, there's live music, there's people kind of hanging out, having fun, really nice kind of sense of community. So this is the Adam Joseph Lewis Center for Environmental Studies. So this whole building is dedicated for the Environmental Studies program here at Oberlin. So this is one of the features, it's the glowing orb. It shows how much electricity and water you're using compared to the prior week. It started out as a student winter term project and it was developed over years with different faculty and students involved. Um, now it's installed in every single dorm here at Oberlin. So you can see 
um, while you're walking through the hallway, how much electricity and water you're using. Um, behind me is Wilder Hall. This is our student union, uh, where our one, over 150 student organizations tend to be based out of. WOBC, our student-led radio station, is there. Um, along with the SCO, uh, the Dionysus Disco is uh, its official name. We all call it the SCO. Uh, live music, kind of like a, an informal club in a sense. Every Wednesday we have Splitchers, um, which is kind of a large party, kind of environment with nice live music. DJs, students actually have a chance to DJ their own splitters if they want to. And behind me is the Mary Church Terrell Main Library at Mudd Center. It's the largest of our four libraries on campus. It houses the largest portion of our collection. Our other libraries on campus are the Science Library, the Conservatory Library, and the Art Library. Uh, but the Mary Church Terrell Main Library uh, really is the most central point on campus as far as academics are concerned. It's a collaborative space. It uh, also has lots of really nice independent study locations as well. Welcome to the Allen Memorial Art Museum. It's one of the top five art museums on a college campus. What I love about this space is not only is it a beautiful art museum, but it's home to one of my favorite traditions here, which is our art rental program. So here at Overland, we have over 400 pieces of work that we get to rent for only $5. If you're lucky enough to be like me and my freshman year roommate, uh, we ended up leaving with an original Dali, a Chagall, a Murillo, um, and a Picasso, all for $20 between the two of us. Thank you so much for watching this campus tour. We couldn't show you all parts of campus, but I hope you got some good feelings about what it is like to be at Oberlin. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to answer any questions or any requests to see other parts of campus as well. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the fall.